A very good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name uh, is Nicholas Dorus, and we're here with Team Now. And uh, today we'll be interviewing uh, Rich Hart, uh, who is uh, growing his own uh, hydroponics garden uh, here in his basement. And the, his hydroponics garden is part of the larger sustainability movement here that's happening uh, in Philadelphia. Can you tell us a little bit about what hydroponics is? Plants normally grow in soil, but it was discovered around the 17th century that plants actually don't grow that much. Most of the mass of the plant doesn't come from the soil itself. Most of it is from the carbon dioxide in the air and the water that they convert using into glucose using the photosynthetic process. What hydroponics does is it basically takes out the need for soil and allows you to give the plant all the nutrients that it needs, mainly just water and oxygen. Plants also need other nutrients, like I believe this one right here is um, chlorine. I think that's a catalyst for the photosynthetic reaction. Um, and I think this one's nickel. And this one, I think, adds uh, magnesium. Uh, again, a plant can survive without these, but it, it's like... Uh, I guess the analogy would be a human that's not getting the proper vitamins. What I wanted to go for was simplicity because um, the more complicated you make any machine, the more likely it's going to break down and the more time that you have to put into um, fixing it. The plants right now, um, they were germinated in uh, this peat, um, which is just, a, a you know, it's a very traditional method for uh, germinating plants. Uh, they tend to like uh, growing in this because it's a very good way for them to establish a root system. Below here is actually the tank where the nutrient solution is. Um, right now that holds about five gallons of uh, water and what happens is the nutrients are and water are mixed and they're added here and that pump, that little black device that you see with that cord going out, that's a water pump. It creates a pressure system that uh, pushes the water up from the tank up into the top hydroponic setup. And the hydroponic, slow, hydroponic setup slowly fills up with water. If you take it off, you see that white um, little piston right there. That's, where, that's the spill valve. So the water will fill in the top tank to a point, and then when it reaches that, uh, the top of that white little valve there, it'll spill over and back into the tank. So everything's recycled. The biggest prohibitive factor to um, hydroponics is the the light because you know plants really do prefer to grow in natural light and there's no substitution for that. Fluorescent lighting is really the main method that people use in hydroponics to for um, a light source. I wouldn't have done it if it wasn't relatively easy and inexpensive. Uh, pretty much everything in this hydroponics setup really costs total nutrient solutions, uh, pumps and all, uh, $150. I could buy the herbs cheaper, you know, at, at any store, but just as a hobby of mine, um, it was very economical. It took me about a weekend to build, and everything here you can pretty much um, buy at any local hardware store, with the exception of the nutrient solution, which um, I bought online. It sounds like very, like, scientifically and very, like, complicated, but no, it's actually really simple. Once the public becomes more aware of it, and they're like, wow, we can have, you know, all the vegetables that we, all the fruits and vegetables, you know, that we could ever need, like, literally on our block, you know, like that is the definition of homegrown. I do it mainly for fun, but I really do see this for, in an urban environment, I really do see it as the future of uh, probably how, how we'll get our food and our vegetables.